Oh, Boogie right. Man Ben coming round the band is Boogie Man Ben. Is Boogie Man Ben. Greetings, my fellow Fright Fiends, and thanks so much for dropping by the Horror Zone. I hope everyone's doing well. Uh, today's video is a requested video. Uh, this comes from director Nate Thompson. Uh, Nate Thompson reached out to me in late June of this year uh, to review his independent horror short called Cult Affairs. Um, that was a film that I really enjoyed, and it was one I had never heard of before. Uh, Nate reached out to me again several weeks ago, and I apologize, Nate, for this taking so long, but he asked me to review his other independent film called The Cult Leader. Um, I was finally able to watch that, and I'm going to be talking about this independent uh, horror short. So like I said, the film is called The Cult Leader. It's directed by Nate Thompson. Uh, the movie is about seven minutes, just a little over seven minutes in length. And the characters in it are Rachel, played by Hallie Rose, Colton, played by Jeremiah Goldmain, Vinny, played by Brandon Gee, and the cult leader is played by Nate Thompson himself. So one thing I noticed right off the bat, much like uh, Cult Affairs, is that Nate Thompson has a really good flair for um, lighting and atmosphere. Um, this film is is sort of got is is dread filled like right from uh the first frame the thing i really loved about it is the character of rachel at the beginning has this movie playing in the background so she's watching television prior to colton and Vinny showing up um and they you know when they show up they start talking about like movies they're gonna watch and things like that and then of course they're gonna have some drinks while they watch the movies they talk about return of the living dead um i did feel that the dialogue between the three characters was a little stilted i didn't think it was as fluid as uh what i felt like uh the dialogue in uh uh, cult affairs was um i did like the colton character a lot uh, i felt like jeremiah goldman just really had a you know uh welcoming presence uh very you know kind of sarcastic and things like that and i just felt like he played the part well um the other two actors were kind of forgettable it's just my own opinion uh, of the performances um i did feel like the cult leader had a very michael myers kind of vibe i did like the way that nate lit the scenes with uh the cult leader again this is a short so there's not a lot of explanation as to who this character is um but i did like the way that he sort of first appears i like the way that he's kind of in the shadows for one of the uh kills in the film and again uh very disturbing imagery um i did like i said uh, again like the atmosphere um i felt like it had a creepy tone throughout i didn't feel like it was as strong as cult affairs but again i do think that nate thompson is a true talent the film and did stay with me it did keep my attention throughout very short run time just a little over seven minutes but um, I do recommend people checking it out. Again, very effective. And like I said, um, you know, aside from a few clunky dialogue moments, I do feel like the film is impactful. There's some really good shots in it, especially close-ups of uh, the mask that the cult leader wears throughout uh, when you see him. Again, you know, there are some Michael Myers vibes that I got while watching it. Uh, I did think that the, uh, Jer the Jeremiah Goldman's character of Colton was the most interesting out of the three. Um, and really just, again, highlights uh, what a true talent Nate Thompson is. I really think he has a really long uh, film career ahead of him just based on these two shorts that I've watched this year. So so if I had to give uh, the cult leader a uh, rating on my scale, I would give it three and a half skulls. So yeah, like I said, I didn't like it as much as uh, the cult as cult affairs. I feel like that movie just really grabbed me a lot more and disturbed me a lot more. But this one was still really well done. Um, some really interesting uh, camera effects. I love the way that he uses atmosphere throughout. Um, so yeah, I do recommend people checking it out. I will put a link down below to the cult leader. Check it out. Help support Nate Thompson. I really think he's going to do amazing things as a filmmaker. And uh, just these two shorts have really just shown what a true talent he is. So uh, thanks so much, everyone, for watching. Uh, let me know what you guys think. If you've seen the film uh, down in the comments section below, we'd love to hear from everyone. And as always, thanks for dropping by the horizon. I hope everyone's doing well. I promise I'll talk to you again real soon. Take it easy. Stay scared as always.